It has been a long time since I published my previous videos about how to control a stepper motor using Wi-Fi and the second video on how to build the magnetic loop antenna itself. Now it's time for some updates. A new software with new features that will replace the Blink app. A future kit of the stepper motor controller will be ready to purchase soon. And a new Patreon page is ready for your support. As you can see, a lot of good stuff, so all the details after the intro. Hi, I'm Tamir Ensik JJ, and welcome to the Reham Radio channel. It has been a long time since I published my uh, videos about how to control a stepper motor using Wi-Fi so we can control a capacitor to tune a mag loop antenna, and the second video on how to actually build a mag loop and use the Wi-Fi controller system. I was amazed at how successful this project was as I got so many views, so many beautiful comments telling me that it helped so many people, personal messages, emails, and even snail mail with questions, requests, and suggestions. So thank you all. As a reminder, when I started this project, all I wanted to do was to solve my own problem on how to tune a mag loop remotely from my station without running special control wires to the antenna. I learned that this was a big problem for so many people worldwide. Then an issue came up. The Blink app that this solution is based on has been upgraded from version 1 to version 2 with no back compatibility and lately the apps themselves were even removed from the Google Play Store and the Apple App Store. So anyone who wanted to build this uh, project could not do so and was blocked. Many people contacted me and asked for help, so this is my first update. I'm happy to announce a new software. It's a solution that will solve all the issues from the first version and will even add new features. It's now an independent application. It means that we don't need to download any third-party application like the Blink. It's an independent application that runs only inside the ESP controller itself. It can run from any device with a browser. It means that you can run it from your smartphone, your tablet, or from your computer at your station. No need for any internet connectivity. It means that you can run it on, uh, even on a field day or even under emergency situation with no internet connectivity at all. No hard-coded Wi-Fi credentials. I've implemented a way to help to configure the Wi-Fi credential using a simple UI and even an option to reset this credential at any time you want, without need to update the code and deploy to DSP each time. It is ready for new features. Since it's independent, it will be easy to update more features easily, and I do have some surprises under development now with new features, so please stay tuned, subscribe, and follow this channel as new updates will be released very soon. Let me show you a quick demo on how to use the new software. So now let me show you how the application is working. We have the left and right buttons that will move the capacitor as long as we are pushing the buttons. And we have the scan that will operate the capacitor until we will stop it. Then we have the slider. The slider controls the speed. If you run like that, this is fast, this is slow. Let's put it fast. This is for fast tuning. And if you want slow tuning or fine tuning, just put slow and it will go slow. You have all the options to control the tuning process. Okay, so now let me show you how the Wi-Fi manager works. After you uploaded the new code to the microcontroller, you will see that in the serial monitor, a new web portal is up and running. This is actually a temporary access point that's running in the microcontroller with this ID, Reham Radio AP access point, with the Reham Radio password. This will help us to configure the Wi-Fi in the microcontroller. To do that, we will go to the Wi-Fi manager in our computer and we will search for that access point. And we can see it here, Reham Radio AP. We will try to connect. It will ask for the password. It's Reham 
radio as we saw. Let's connect. When the pop-up raised, we can go to configure Wi-Fi and we'll get a list of the access point that we have. We'll connect the one that we want at home. We'll put the home password, save. And that will store the credential inside the microcontroller. When that will be ready, the pop-up will disappear like that and the computer will connect back to our home access point. When that is ready, we will get a new IP. This is actually the home IP that we got from the home access point. This is actually our application. To use that, we will take a browser and we will paste that IP and the application is up and running, ready for use. There is another way to find the IP of the microcontroller by installing on the mobile phone uh, a network analyzer app or a LAN scanner app. When you scan your network, you will find a device that's called uh, Express IF. That's your microcontroller and that's an option to get your IP. If for some reason you want to reset the Wi-Fi manager credential, there is a small reset button on the microcontroller board. You just need to double click on it and the Wi-Fi manager will be ready to reconfigure from the beginning. So how can you actually uh, use the new software version? You just need to download the latest version of the code located in the new GitHub repository link that is in the description of this video and deploy it into the same ESP controller that you already have. It doesn't matter if you're already using the Blink version 1 setup or you are installing a new system for the first time. This link contains all the relevant files and libraries for this project, including deployment guidance and the electronic schema. This is a brand new GitHub repository as I decided to keep the old one for reference if someone will still want to access uh, the old version. Please remember, this is only a software update that supports the current hardware configuration that you already built. So no hardware changes needed on your side at all. The new software is now available to download. If you always wanted to have this kind of solution and you don't want to actually build it, this update is for you. I learned from so many people that they do want to use this kind of solution, but are not comfortable to actually handle and build this kind of project. So I'm super excited to update that I designed and built a new kit for the Wi-Fi stepper motor controller that will be ready to purchase online. Please subscribe and stay tuned to this channel as I will release more details on that very soon. Moving on to the last update for this video is about a new Patreon page that I set up that gives you the opportunity to support this channel. What is Patreon? Patreon is a membership platform that can help me as a creator to provide you more content. It's a way that you can support me and this channel in a way that can help me to continue to focus on designing new solutions, provide new updates and features, help me to continue to support the community and finally, show your appreciation uh, for the work that is done in the background. My Patreon supporters will get some benefits like early access to future software updates. I will put a link in the description of this video to the Patreon page so you can review and decide if it fits for you. For any decision, I want to thank you in advance. That's it for this video. We had lots of new information, news and updates. Please like the video and subscribe to the channel to get updates as they are released. Thank you and 73.